This is number 108 in the second book of Practical Studies by Ketchell. This is the Arkansas All-State, All-Region uh, Tryout Materials. Uh, this one should be fairly slow. It's going to be very, very vertical. It's in 6-8 time. 6-8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But that's actually way too fast for this one. 1 and 3 and 1 and 2 is about the correct tempo for this. Very smooth, very lyrical. Um, there's not any dynamics written in this thing besides mezzo forte. Uh, as I've said before in some of my other videos, uh, this is like a paint by number set. Uh, if you've ever seen a paint by number set, it's a picture with numbers in there and you grab a piece of uh, paint and you stick the piece of paint in the lines and it's supposed to make art. Uh, it makes a picture that you can tell what it is, but it doesn't really make art. And the same thing with this music. Uh, you have one dynamic level, and if you play that one dynamic level all the way through this, it is technically correct and boring as watching the same paint dry. So we're gonna add some dynamics to this. Uh, for the most part, what we wanna do is as you get higher, you're gonna get louder. As you get lower, you're gonna get softer. There are, every once in a while, exceptions to that rule. And we'll get through this and see if there are any exceptions on this one. Uh, also on this one, you wanna add some vibrato uh, when, it's, uh, when it's called for. And you can actually change the tempo a little bit on this. You might wanna speed up or slow down just ever so slightly. If you do that though, you need to make sure that it's very deliberate so the judges know exactly what you're doing, that you're not making a mistake, that you are purposefully slowing down for a musical reason. important on this piece is that the judges can easily distinguish the slurred notes from the tongue notes. This needs to be very, very smooth, but they also need to know that you know how to do the articulations right. Um, rather than a ta or a t or a two tongue, I would use a do, da, di tongue, whichever your band director tells you, ah, oh, e, u, whatever. Uh, I would go to a do, d, d, a d sound a da, do, anything like that, um, to make this smooth and pretty. I'm gonna go on, this is the fourth line. This, the last time I played it, uh, about three years ago, um, the end is insanity to find a place to breathe. 
So um, you need to practice this a bunch of times. Figure out what you want to do. Uh, if you want to speed something up and take and sneak a breath in somewhere, or if you want to slow down somewhere and take a really good breath in in, in a place that it makes sense. Uh, I think what we ended up doing the last time we played this is we took a big breath at the end of that fourth line and then we gradually sped up through this to make it through that. Uh, they're just not a good place to breathe. I'm going to try that real quick. My bell just rang and I've probably got students coming in. <laughs> 